this one looks you look like a little fuzzy tail. <laughs> okay. That's a little squirrel coming down for you. Uh, squirrel? Squirrel! Squirrel. Squirrel. You did a beautiful job, you and Jess. Did a really beautiful job with the walls. Guys, Jess and Jonathan, his beautiful, <laughs> talented artist wife. Oh god, yes, she's the best. Of course did I remember her. And look at how gorgeous this is. Get out of the way, let him see her art. We couldn't, I couldn't, in good conscience, cover that up with our normal tapestry to retain, retain quality control. I just couldn't do it, dude. It, it needed to shine, it needed to speak on its own, in its own right. These walls are a statement of what any given moment can feel like. At this point, if you walk into our room here at the Corky Lotus in Spartanburg, South Carolina, on South Pine Street, if you walk 23 into 23 South Pine Street, Spartanburg, South Carolina, 293 oh, 02. If you were to walk into here right now, I have seen many people walk in, and it is a noticeable, not a, it is a, it's like that full deep breath that you do mm -hmm. right after you eat a really great meal. And you're like, nope, need a button, uh, undo the button, you know, it's about that time. Kind of feels like a good exhale. Yes. I like it. So thanks for joining us again. We have been absent for a couple of weeks between us being crazy sick and then half of us taking a work trip out to the desert to recharge and mm -hmm. meet the world's most beautiful grandson. Uh, the other half of us getting armpit deep <laughs> in artistic endeavors. Yes, good lord, yes. I think my toes are still blue from the paint and it's been a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I have smurf toes. But we missed you. So, we're back. Welcome back. It's February, so obviously since the world's saturated with love, right. we are going to talk about love. I know, everybody's talking about love. But I have a feeling that if you stick with us, you'll learn a couple of things that you didn't realize before. Like what kind of love spell should I be doing? Exactly. What types of love are there? My heart or soul feels like I love this person so much, but everything is a fucking train wreck every time we come together. Mm-hmm. There are lots of different kinds of love. So many kinds of love. My work husband, my work wife, my work bestie, my shopping bestie. My coffee buddy. My kids. Oh God, yes, my kids. My babies, my fur babies. There's lots of love out there and we're happy to help you find it. Mm -hmm. We're happy to help you keep it and we're happy to help teach you some spells. I put a spell on you to get the love that you deserve. Now, in your mind, I'm just kidding. That being said, what is the one spell, the one love spell, that is guaranteed to work, doesn't violate- 120% of the time. Doesn't violate anybody's personal space. Consent. And just generally works. It's a love spell. It's a self love spell the more ah, you, you thought we were going somewhere else and yeah i know it no, yeah. no, no i don't no, believe in in no. love spells that that curb other people's bodily autonomy or their emotional or spiritual autonomy for me that's a line i'm not willing to cross so what i will teach you what jonathan's gonna teach you oh. what we're gonna work together to teach you is how to change your own vibration so that you draw abundant love to you yes. because you learn to love yourself abundantly yes if you are loving yourself it's just cause and effect the love that is meant to be yours will come to you mm -hmm. but all we can ever choose to fix is ourselves not anybody else you can pray over a situation you can light candles to to ask your guides or your guardians or your gods or 
whomever to help straighten the situation out. I would always advise that you set the parameters when you're doing that to align with the highest good. Not necessarily yes. my highest good. But the highest good is there is differences. Generally, <laughs> if you're going to do a spell on a situation that involves more than just you, I would suggest that you talk about consent. Consent is important. I would suggest that you say, hey, depending on what the situation is and who you're talking to, if it's a Christian, say, hey, can I pray about this? If it's a Wiccan, hey, can I light some candles for you? Can, can I, I, I'm really conflicted about this situation. I'm gonna pray on it, or I'm gonna meditate on it, or I'm gonna think real hard about it, or I'm gonna think about it when I lay in the sun. Yes. Whatever that looks like. Yes. If you are going to do something with a situation that involves more humans than just you, mm -hmm. talk to them about it. And if you can't help but to do it anyway without talking to them, then my suggestion is that you only attempt to affect change on the parts that directly deal with you. So like if yes. the situation is, I'm struggling with someone at work, don't hex them, just knee-jerk reaction. That's your choice. Hexes are neither bad nor good. There is the intentions, it's whatever the intentions are. Intention is your strongest tool. Yes. But what you can honest. do in that situation is open the box as I am coming towards my highest good. I'm drawing in my highest good. Here is the situation. Can you help me to speak only my truth? Can you help me to see with a clearer eye? Mm -hmm. Can you help me to come at it, come at this situation with a pure heart? Um, I used an example like you were praying to a deity, but you could also put sweetening oil on a candle and sweeten yourself to the situation. Let me be more compassionate and maybe understand where the other person's coming from so that you can get that higher vibrational love, that coworker love, which we can all have, and you yes. should. Yeah. It's possible yes. and it's amazing. Yes. You so many different come levels at it. of love. You can come at it from the right space. If your intentions are high, your purity of heart is focused only on you, you're focused on your highest good, there's nothing wrong with that. Do what you will. That being said, I think that Jonathan should tell you about pet love. Ooh, pet love. Not that kind. Not oh, that kind. Wait a minute. Hold not, on. Not, not, not that kind. I was supposed to be like, oh, well, come here, puppy. Come here, kitty. Here, Ew. kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitten. Oh, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> She over here being pert. See the you see what I put up with? Y'all thought I was a pert. No. Pet love. That is for me. Pet love is an unapologetic. Know that I've had a good day or a bad day. No matter what kind of day it's been, I can be gone for two minutes. My key hits that door, and my dog Dozer. I love him to death. He is my mutt. Okay, y'all. I got him from the Humane Society. He is a boxer coon hound mix. He is the sweetest thing. He's like, just love me. His, <laughs> his bark is really, really out there. You would think he's this big, scary dog, but you walk to his door and he's just like, da, 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 da. hey, 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 love me. He melts. It is the unconditional, all right, I'll say it, I'll say it. It is the unconditional love and excitement that we all crave from the authority figures in our life. That is what kind of love my dog gives me. That's pet love to me. What kind of spells would you do for pet love? For me, see, the, this is a little tricky for me because I don't necessarily practice spells in that aspect. I don't... Spells, recipes, rituals, what does that look like for you? Okay, and from a ritual for me, that looks like... I make sure that he and I every night go out to the dog park together. Now, granted, if it's snowing, if it's raining really bad, 
I'm not going to go right around in the dog park for him to run through, run wild for at least 20 minutes, okay? I'm human. Straight up, I'm human. It gets uncomfortable. If I get irritated because I'm wet, I hate my socks getting wet, it's not going to work as well. But most of the time, I make it a goal to go out there with him and let him have his time to run around, have his space, to get out his energy, and then when he comes back in, he gets his little special treat, gets his ears scratched in just the right spot, now that I don't always do it, because you would swear up and down. He gets no love and affection whatsoever from all of us. I could lay on the floor with him for three hours in a row, and then someone else could walk in and he'd be like, they never love me. But that's what a ritual looks like to me for pet love. That's a strong ritual. Yeah. The needs of the human in that equation are met. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the you yes. in that equation is met. The needs of the partner are met. Mm -hmm. So in that equation, it would be your sweet dog. Yes. And He's eight years old, y'all. <laughs> he would get what he needs. The consent is implied because he comes to you. Yes. He gives... Um, he gives signal yes. that this is something that he is absolutely 100% here for. Yes. Um, the paw will come up or the butt wiggle. That tail. And his turns into like a helicopter. I swear his tail is worse than his bark because his tail will take you out. His bark, not so much. But his tail will take you out. I've had it take my knee and I've been like, oh crap, I'm done. All right. <laughs> We're going to talk a ton more about different types of love, toxic love, cord cutting, mm -hmm. self-love, love spells, recipes, um, behaviors. We're going to talk about those in our next two videos, and we hope that you'll join us. Please subscribe and have a wonderful day. Just in case you haven't heard this from anyone today, we love you. I love we you. We love you. I love you too. In a very strictly platonic way. I love you. Right. Super. Super. Super platonic. Super platonic. Super consensual. Super, super consensual. We want your you highest Have love. the love. Have the love. Where is the love? Can yeah. anyway. you feel <laughs> the Have love a great day, guys. Tonight. Da -da -da -da.